Now, in this particular chart today, let's pull it up and have a look. Oh, I'll show you in one sec. Uh, Brittany Griner, so amazing. I don't know if she was, well, I'll tell you what, what the chart says. Here we go. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. Brittany Griner for a couple of minutes, and then I'll do the overview for you guys. And then, then we'll have the tarot reading for everyone. We can, you can guess the cards if you like, and then the individual horoscopes. This video will be about two and a half hours today. Okay, next. So this is Brittany Griner's chart right here. Check this out, guys. So for those who don't know, I think I just, I think I just said it, but I teach an astrology class online. And one of the questions on the exam, the level one exam, is uh, to, it's to identify or name some astrological positions where you're going to go to jail in your chart. So signs in an astrological chart that you might do jail time. There are also signs in an astrological chart that you're going to be improperly prisoned or you're going to get blamed for things you didn't do. And when I'm reading the charts for you live at night, all the time, all the time, you know, people are going to blame you for things you didn't do. Uh, it happens to so many people or this, you might uh, run away from home or there might be problems at home or there's going to be problems with people believing you or communication problems or driving problems. It's all part, similar part of the chart or you're going to possibly have your restriction move, your, res your movement restricted or you might go to jail. All right. Those are the deal. That's the deal. Uh, again, that's on the exam, right? If you want to see a copy of the exam, it's on my website, thesunnyside.net. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. So what's up with Brittany Griner? So here we go. So astrologically, she very clearly has signs that she might go to jail in this chart. So we don't know her birth time, or I don't have her birth time, and I'm setting it up in such a way that I put, I set the chart up so that it's easy for you guys to see. Obviously, I don't really need to set it up like this for me to see what's going on, right? I do it a different way, but like here, it's easy to see. And you're going to, so we don't know what her ascendant is, and that's neither here nor there, because we're going to do planetary aspects today. And you can do, read a chart using planetary aspects without knowing the ascendant. What you won't know is the actual position of the moon or the degree of the moon, but you will know within 12 degrees. Uh, but you won't know the exact position of the moon, and you're definitely not going to know the exact position of the ascendant or the midheaven, which are important for certain things, not necessarily uh, important to indicate what's going through, what's going on today. Now, today, when you're looking at restricted movement, you're going to see Saturn three houses from the sun. It's one of the places you're going to see restricted movement, like going to a private school, like you know, your airplane, not your airplane delay, but going to a private school, going to jail, joining the army per se, the military has restricted movement, uh, car problems, bus problems, bicycle problems, like whatever, how you transport yourself or your ability to move around is somewhat restricted. And one of the ways you could be restricted is by going to jail, obviously. And she absolutely has it in her chart. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Here, I will circle it for you and draw an arrow. It's right there. Okay, this is the sun. 24 degrees, 24 degrees. Whoops, 24. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, let's put it back. So, anyways, without getting too stressed out about it, she does. Now, to have that alone in your chart is not necessarily enough for me to say, oh, you're going to jail. But I am going to say you're going to have your movement restricted in that situation. When this planet, when certain things line up here and it's... uh. So a Saturn alone in the third house is not enough to say you're going to jail, guys. It's not like that's not like not from the sunny side here. Maybe some other astrologer would say that, or I wouldn't say that. It has to be coupled with a couple of things, with some other energy. It's not just having your movement restricted. It's having your uh, because there, you also have to want to, you know, the, like you might want to see violence in chart. You might want to see breaking the rules. You might want to see sneaky behavior. There are lots of reasons for going to jail. One of the reasons going to jail is being blamed for something you didn't necessarily do. And that and, and that tends to be behind the sun over here. Now, her moon, we don't exactly know where her, her moon is, right? Because we don't have her birth time. But we do know, and because I set the chart quite early for you guys, we do know that the moon at this time of day at 7 a.m., it's probably going to be anywhere from 20 degrees 
all the way up to about maybe 29 degrees. I know, you know, it can go, it can go a little bit further, but I don't think it does in this. She's a basketball player, so it's highly unlikely that she has a void moon in her chart, right? She, she's going to have energy to play basketball. <laughs> so it's unlikely that her moon is void. Also, she's a successful basketball player. So anyways, back here, we do have hidden stuff in her chart. Oh, there's one more thing. It's more than likely that the moon is either conjunct the sun or just a little in front of the sun, like she's born under a new moon. It indicates someone who's definitely going to put herself first, can indicate a little bit selfish, a little bit narcissism, a little bit, oh, I'm going to do what I want because the moon is what you want to do. The sun is shining and it's you doing what you want to do. So that's the deal. She could possibly be a little bit headstrong, but all of this energy in Libra is someone who just wants to get along. For the most part, Libras don't usually break rules per se. They can uh, be they can be very argumentative, and they can be very sneaky. Libras don't necessarily tell the truth. I'm just saying regular stuff. Uh, most of them are very beautiful and really, really nice people. Um, but there's a tendency for like certain things to happen. Anyways, whatever. In this girl's chart, she does, just to let you guys know, and then I'll speed through and we'll move on because it's gone too long now. Uh, this is turning into a regular reading instead of a quick horoscope thing here. She has secret and she gets into secret relationships in the chart. Um, she gets into secret relationships in the chart. That's, that's about it. Like, so, uh, but it's usually good things that happen behind the scenes. Uh, we know that she's, you know, bisexual. She has that in her chart as well. She has a bit of Gemini energy combined with Libra energy, putting herself first in secret relationships, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, did she do it? Did she didn't do it? She probably got set up. Maybe she didn't know what was going on. I was blaming her for a while saying, how could someone be that silly and do something like that? Uh, for the most part, it's unlikely that a Libra would intentionally cause drama like this. So with all this Libra energy, it's unlikely she would have done it um, on purpose. Uh, even though the Gemini energy is going to make her take chances and the Gemini energy is going to make her try and get away with things a little bit. Uh, like she's probably, now that I'm just looking at this chart, she's probably smarter than that. But like seriously, I was making a lot of fun of her saying, oh, this chick is just stupid. But like, why would you go and be so rude in another country to do this? You can't be like, just walk around. But then, and we had a big talk about it this morning, actually. What was she doing? But looking at her chart here, it looks like maybe she was set up a little bit. A heads up, just showing what I said. So we have very clear signs of going to jail in the chart. Uh, we have, that's it, clear signs of going to jail. Uh, just to let you know, there's a possibility she might get sick. <laughs> you know, she has that in her chart, possibly getting sick. She does have moving things away from home to let you know. She has problems, very, very, very big problems out into the world publicly. So this lines up. Now, just a quick little shoot around here to show you what's going on and why this is happening. Now we're hearing the announcement, but it's very clear as well. You can see that Mars is retrograde, right? Mars is, is red and it's retrograde like that. You can see, so... And it's coming down, right? It's coming towards her. It's been dancing back and forth across her natal Mars at the top of the chart. That's causing problems with her energy. But we also have Uranus retrograde. We also have these nodes are about to square. For those who don't know or those who, you know, if you follow the channel, you'll, we talk about this all the time. But her nodes are about to square the transiting nodes. That's going to indicate a very, very big change in her life. She might get sick. Like, Anyways, let's just go back one second to this didn't happen overnight. This is transiting energy that arcs like that. It takes a little bit of a of time. Saturn uh, recently changed directions. Pluto had to change directions. Um, Jupiter's changing directions. You know, Neptune changing directions. Like we had a lot. To, she, there was a lot that had to go through for this uh, for her to a lot of energy that was moving backwards that was stuck had to clear up astrologically before this could happen. And it's not finished yet, right? Mars is still, uh, you know, cruising back here. Now, just before we move on, there is something you'll notice about this. And it's a little weird. You'll say, well, Sonny, these aren't exact angles. You usually don't do anything without exact angles. And you're right. Except in this situation, 
Once again, it's energy in motion. And it's a lot of energy in motion that's cramping her style. And this, this transfer, you can almost guarantee that it didn't happen overnight. And you can guarantee that there were a number of these events, which really pushed up against things, to cause this to happen. So it's not a today thing, although it's being announced today and she's traveling today, right? Travel, Mars, retrograde, coming back, right? Moving forward by looking backwards is what I've been telling you guys for the last month. And so it's all here. All right, let's move on. This is, I've spent too much time talking about this and it's pretty obvious. So that's the deal. So watch out. So watch out. And you'll, you will see that the planets they they're they're arcing in <laughs> okay all right next let's get on with the uh the general overview and move on with it i'll talk if you guys want to know more about her chart i'll talk about it at nighttime or maybe i'll make a little video for you guys but as this took about 10 minutes i don't see myself making another video for you guys <laughs> so now here's what's important as i set this up if you meet a guy and like again of course there are more aspects in the chart uh, that I would say will lock down going to jail in your chart. But if you want to know more about it, sign up for one of my classes. You know, come hang out on the sunny side at night, ask the questions, and see what kind of answer you get. But that's one of the things. Signs of going to jail in your astrological chart. All right, next, let's get down to it. Let's put some... Let's do it. General overview for everyone. 